Have you ever had any issue with your SSL certificate that is auto-generated from cPanel, like it is my case? For example, I am resaving uh, these emails for my domains, saying that my domain SSL certificate will expire in a few days. I thought, oh, it's fine, it will, um, will auto-update and generate a new SSL certificate, but it's not the case, and if I go to my domain, I get the SSL uh, security uh, notification and, uh, well, of course, that's not good. And uh, actually, this issue is easy to resolve if you are using a cPanel. So, uh, again, this video is for people using cPanel and auto SSL uh, option from cPanel. So, if that is your case and you receive these emails, and, uh, well, actually, as soon as you receive this email, you should, you should uh, solve the, the problem and, uh, <laughs> and check it before, uh, like it is my case now today, you cannot access your site anymore without, uh, uh, without this uh, security notice. So the issue is, very, is probably very easy. If, um, it is like, uh, if you are in the same situation as me, it's because some subdomains that are included in the SSL certificate automatically generated do not exist, and therefore, the cPanel cannot create a new SSL certificate for this domain. So the solution is pretty easy. You should go to your, uh, to your server administration panel. Oops. So in my case, uh, on uh, inter-server. And you should log in to cPanel and scroll down to uh, SSL option here, SSL uh, TLS options. That's the first step. So the first step would be to, uh, let's go to generate view or delete SSL certificate signing request. Uh, yep, that's not the one. Uh, check the uh, SSL certificate, generate view, upload or delete SSL certificate. Yes. So here you can view all the SSL certificates you have and you can delete the ones you don't want. So we will do this in an instant, first I go back to the SSL uh, certificate main site and I will go to manage SSL sites. Here I can view all my SSL sites and if I scroll down to uh, here, this website, this uh, website, so I check issue. So today now uh, we are 25th of January, the certificate has expired and I have to contact my certificate authority to request a certificate renewal. So what we will do is that we will actually trigger ourselves this certificate renewal to solve this issue. Um, yes, so first step, it's not view your private keys. No, I am looking for another one. SSL here, so SSL TLS status. Here you can see SSL status per uh, domain. So I look for my domain, euro2sd.com. Um, so here actually I, I did this before, but the issue I had here is that I had all these subdomains that were included in the uh, auto SSL. So you have to uh, remove these, uh, these domains, so to exclude them from AutoSSL if you also have subdomains uh, for which you do not have a DNS entry and that do not resolve through um, DNS query. So I already did it uh, before and uh, <laughs> I, I, I check if it was working, but if it's, um, if it's uh, not your case, so you should uh, not forget to do this. Now we can go back to uh, here to our certificates on server and check the certificates we have for our uh, domain. So here, my domain Euro2SD, I can see I have two, one, two, three actually, all these ones. Three different uh, SSL certificates still on the server. Uh, this one expired today, 25th of January, and it's not good anymore. This one expired last year, I'm not sure why it's still on server, and this one expired last year as well. So let's delete this old certificate, yes, go back, and 
go back, delete the second uh, certificate that has expired. We don't need to keep it. Go back. And to SD. Yeah, delete the, this uh, last certificate that we have on the server that is not uh, valid anymore because we are 25th of January and it has expired. Yes, I am sure I want to delete it. Okay, all good. So now I have no more uh, SSL certificates on, uh, on, uh, on the server for this website. And if I also go here, I can also delete this expired certificate, uninstall it. There is nothing else uh, to do. So I uninstall it, uninstall it. Yes, I want to uninstall SSL certificate for my website. And now I have no more SSL certificate and I should still, yeah, for, of course, I st still get the issue if I go on my website. So now the last step, if you haven't done so yet, is to go to, uh, so first go to cPanel, SSL TLS take use, and go uh, here, uh, exclude all the subdomains for which you do not have a DNS entry. So in my case, I only have DNS entries for uh, the root domain, uh, the subdomain because uh, I am on shared hosting, uh, uh, the mail uh, because I, I have a DNS entry for, for emails, and the uh, uh, same entries for uh, 3W because I access, the, I access my website through 3w.euro2sd.com and exclude everything else. So now that's the case. So. Uh, what you can do here on this SSL TLS status is now to trigger an SSL certificate generation from cPanel. Um, another option on cPanel is to generate, generate a self-signed SSL certificate, but this is not recommended because most browsers will not recognize this certificate as a, a valid SSL certificate. So it is better in this SSL TLS status to, so uh, first of all, to select your website and then to run auto SSL. If you have deleted your SSL certificates, it will generate a new SSL certificate. So we can double check that. For example, if we go uh, up here, if we refresh the page, we, can, we will see that. Uh, so here I still don't have an, a new SSL certificate generated for my website. And if I check SSL certificates on the server, it's the same, I will see that uh, I don't have a new SSL certificate for my website. So I go back to SSL TLS status, check my website, run auto SSL. This operation might take a few minutes, uh, it depends on, um, on, uh, on many options, but uh, yeah, you will soon see, see it. Uh, so uh, what I can do meanwhile is actually open GIMP and actually show you what was the error message before I, uh, I excluded from auto SSL because I took a screenshot. I should still have it. Up. Yes, I still have it in my clipboard. So this was the message that I got. Uh, so before excluding from auto SSL these uh, subdomains for which I do not have a DNS entry. So this is what, what you should do as well. Uh, you should check these subdomains and exclude the ones that you don't need. Here, done. Auto SSL check has completed. The page will refresh in five seconds. Refreshed and now let's uh, uh, up, goes for our domain. Oh, it's already selected. So now you can view that the new SSL certificate do not include these subdomains, but only the ones we selected for which we have a DNS entry uh, that can resolve to an IP address. And the uh, uh, domain has been now validated by auto SSL. So just to show you again, so before we had errors here that occurred on auto SSL. So this is what you should check actually in this, um, in this window to know what happened and how you can solve. If it's the same issue, then just exclude these subdomains. If you don't need them, of course, maybe you need them for some reason, 
in my case, it's not the case. I do not use them. I do not uh, need them. So I could exclude them. Uh, of course, maybe you should double check uh, if uh, you really don't, don't use them. But if they are a strange subdomain you never heard about, uh, and you don't use uh, especially webmail, some of them are for uh, webmail, then you most likely don't need them. Um, okay, so now I, I get this. If I go back to my website and I refresh, yeah, solved. I got now an SSL certificate that is valid and has been verified by a third party, in this case, cPanel. And if I check information, view certificate, uh, okay, I can see that uh, for my domain, uh, SSL certificate has been issued by uh, cPanel in uh, Houston, and it is valid so for, um, uh, uh, for three months, so until 25th of uh, April as of today. And uh, I can see all the details of the certificate. And it is now sold. I can just to double check, I go back here in the uh, manage SS SSL host and check what happened. If I scroll down to uh, up here, Euro 2 SD. Uh, so here I can see that uh, the secured subdomains of my domain name has been included in the SSL certificate, and the ones that I excluded have been excluded, and there is no more issue. And it will auto renew on 26th of April. So I had the same issue for another domain, and I just did the same operation before, and it is working. And again here, if we uh, go in the list of certificates on server and refresh, refresh the page, so I just did a control F5, I can scroll down here to my website. And here, euro2sd.com now has a valid SSL certificate. So that's all. Uh, again, the next time you, uh, you receive an email from um, Euro2SD, uh, for, from um, a cPanel telling you that your website, such as uh, Euro2SD in my case, .com, uh, doesn't have an SSL certificate. Do not panic. Check what happened. Check which subdomains were in, uh, had issues. If you do not recognize these subdomains, you most likely don't need them, and you can exclude them from SSL certificate um, generation. Delete your current SSL certificates and generate a new SSL certificate that should then be valid. That was all. Thanks a lot for, for, for your attention. Uh, please uh, like and uh, subscribe if you are watching on YouTube or uh, browse my website if you are watching on my web website, which I recommend. And uh, if you have a website as well, also consider actually, uh, actually joining EZOIC. So actually, I have this issue with this website because I don't have this website on uh, EZOIC with DNS integration. Uh, if that was the case, I would not have this issue because EZOIC would uh, manage it uh, for me, manage the SSL certificate for me, and uh, also host, <laughs> host this video, host my, my video. So uh, I would not have any issue. Anyway, if you are only using uh, cPanel and uh, you are alone, so this is, uh, this is the issue and how to solve it. Thanks, and uh, see you soon for another video.